Welcome back to the series. In this video, we will learn how to find the median. Always remember this. Before beginning, understand the meaning of the word median. I mean, a lot of times we are ready to jump into the problem solving section and don't even understand what is it that we are doing. So the meaning of median is a value or a quantity lying at the midpoint of a frequency distribution. It should be in so much between that you can roughly visualize the rest of the values in two different blocks. That's why it's sometimes called as partition value because it's dividing the entire data set. I hope you're getting what I'm saying. Whenever you have to find the median, the given data set in the question will be of two types. One is group data and the other is ungrouped data or discrete series. In case you haven't watched the video where I've explained what those two types of data sets are, I recommend you watch it. Link to that video will be in the description or somewhere here on the screen. So watch it. Anyway, back to the present. So let's learn how to find the median in each of the cases. The first one is ungrouped data or discrete series. Let me just get a question on the board. This is an example of ungrouped data or discrete series. And how do we know that? If you see here, the data is given in a straightforward manner. We have marks in one column. Let me put the letter X next to it just for reference, nothing fancy. And then we have frequency of students getting those marks in another column. So if you see, it's pretty straightforward that two students have got 40 marks in a class. Then four students got 45 marks and again, four students got 55 and so on and so forth. So how to find median for this kind of question? Let me write down the steps. The first step is to find the value of N and n is equal to summation of frequency column, which means add the entire value of the frequency column. In this case, it is this one. Let me mark it with red color and put a letter F next to it. Now the second step is to see whether the total value of n is an odd number or an even number. If it is an odd value, we do n plus one by two. That is, we add one to the value of n and divide it by two. If it is an even value, we simply do n by 2, that is divide the value of n by 2. In this problem, the value of n will turn out to be 31. With no doubt, it is an odd number. Therefore, we do n plus 1 by 2 to get the median. And that's going to be 16. Now the number 16 has no relevance in this data set as of now. So this is where cumulative frequency comes into play. I have made a short video on that as well. Please check it out. We will create a new column and find the cumulative frequency. It is denoted by the letter C. The first value in this column is going to be two directly taken from the frequency column, which in here is the number of students column. And the next value is going to be two plus four that is equal to six. Why did we do that? Well, going forward, we will be adding the present frequency value to its predecessor. Next one is going to be two plus four plus four, which is equal to 10 and then two plus four plus four plus seven, that is equal to 17. And then I want you to think, is it 22, 26 and 31? If you remember the value of N, it was 16. Now, if you look the cumulative frequency column, 16 lies in between 10 and 17, or maybe a little closer to 17, which is the fourth value from top. Therefore, we can conclude by saying the median is the marks of the 17th student. And that's 30. That's the median. I hope you followed up with all the steps. In case you lost somewhere, watch it again at your pace. In the next video, we will learn to find the median of a group data.